everyone, Ashley here. This video is going to be talking about the December L3 Christmas Advent Calendar Scents. Now I do weekly Melting Basket and Empties videos and I've talked about all of these before in a series of videos, but I wanted to put everything in together be in, into one video together simply because there are a lot of you out there that got this advent calendar and some of you a lot of you haven't got it but there are some delicious mouth-watering scrumptious scents in this that um jen is going to be having her loaf of palooza uh, later on this month that she's asking you know poor requests for and there are some here i, I just i adore i've requested some of these uh, hopefully uh, they'll get poured at some point this year. There were a lot of winners in here, a couple ones that I personally didn't care for, but I wanted to talk about these in detail just because they put a lot of time and uh, thought and organization into this. So I just wanted to talk about some of these scents. Okay, now my tripod's back a little farther than usual, but I had that there because I wanted to, you know, show you all the art work on all of these packages. So um, for the most part, 90, 95% of these are all the correct scents, but these little packages, a couple of them fell out. So there might be a couple days that are interchanged, but nonetheless, they were all, they were all part of this advent calendar. Okay, day one is a package. It's beautiful purple and it has the bulbs on it with the pine. And this scent was Hufflepuff. It's sticking in here. There we go. This is Hufflepuff, Roasted Chestnuts, and Bonfire Bliss. Now, this one was chestnut dominant. And I melted this one on day one. And the Hufflepuff is the pumpkin, pumpkin pastry, uh, really popular scent. But I got roasted chestnuts out of this with a touch of that Hufflepuff. This was a nice one. I liked it. Um... There were more I liked better, but this one was a good one. Day two is, has a little car on the front with a little, I think that's a bear. Maybe it's a bear or an elf. I can't tell if it's a bear with his nose forward or if that's an elf with his hat and his head is tilted. I can't tell what it is, but this was a cute one. And there's a partridge in a pear tree on the back and a snowman. This scent was blueberries and cream. Uh, sugar cookie royale and cotton candy frosting now this one is blueberries and cream dominant all the way i am not a fan of blueberries and cream it's too artificial smelling for me that said i know there's a lot of you out there that like this and enjoy this so if you're one of those people you would absolutely like this scent there's a nice mixture of the cotton candy frosting with a little bit of that cookie in there to round everything out this i i, I wouldn't buy this again because it's not it's not my favorite scent um, but if that's up your alley, you'll probably love it. Number three is just trees, just a bunch of trees. And this scent is sugar cookie, frosted cuppy cakes, white cake batter. This one was okay. I wanted this one to be stronger. I do remember that. I made I made it a point to melt majority of these in my office where I work because a lot of these there was a lot of these only had one single scent. Kind of like the samples that she sends out in her orders are just one shape. A couple of these, the smaller shapes, there were two. And in those scents, the two I would melt here in my bedroom and bathroom just because the rooms are connected. I could get a bigger area out of that out of that package. But these ones were mostly poured in my, it melted in my office. This one was, it wasn't bad, but I wanted it to be stronger. I needed more of it. There was a little bit too much white cake vanilla in it for me. But I know that these blends sell like crazy. And once again, if this one is your scent, give it a try if you haven't already. Day four, I love this one. This is Mac Apple Zucchini Bread Espresso. And I know there's a group of you out there that love coffee, love zucchini bread, love Mac Apple. This was awesome, delicious, wonderful. Mac Apple Dominant with a touch of espresso and the zucchini bread spices. This was wonderful. I think Jen's poured this before, or at least I know she's poured Mac Apple Zucchini Bread. I don't know about the espresso part, but she has hundreds of scents that I, I have no idea about. But this one was a winner A+. Plus on that one. Day five. 
I didn't melt all of this because it was a, it was a large shape, so I cut it in half. Uh, this one is All Is Calm, Joy to the World. I melted this one in my bathroom just because it's it's a soft, serene, um, mint scent. But I think this I think there's peppermint in this one, but it's not a it's not in your face strong peppermint like toothpaste. It's not like that. This is a a sweet peppermint comforting soothing scent and i wish i could remember i looked up these notes to all is calm and joy to the world but this one is this was this is a nice gentle scent and i i liked it i'm looking forward to melting this the rest of this um that is a nice one it's soft not offensive can be used anywhere kind of thing uh day six we have oh i forgot to tell you day five has mice and I think that it look, kind of looks like, is it Arthur, that cartoon? I don't, I don't know. I think it was a little bit after my time. Um, it kind of looks like an Arthurish. I don't know if he's a, if he's an anteater or what he is. Uh, hanging bulbs from his antlers. And I don't know, maybe it's just a reindeer. Hey, your guess is as good as mine sometimes. This is uh, barnyard animals, deer, a little fox on the back amongst the trees and a, and a couple of little cabins. This one, oh, this one was nice. This is salted caramel, vanilla ice cream, white elephant exchange. This was caramel dominant with a beautiful touch of the white elephant exchange. I have smelled white elephant exchange on its own, which I know most of you have, and it's a classic vanilla scent. That caramel, the salted caramel especially, I like salted caramel over regular caramel. It's more authentic to me and, and just gives that a little something extra. This was a beautiful combination. I liked this one. And I would melt it again if I saw it. But that said, there are more that I like. Uh, day seven. This one is, I think that's a penguin and flip-flops, flamingo. This is kind of like a tropical Christmas. The scent in here is, this is a good one, snooze button and cotton candy craze. And I know snooze button is crazy popular. Cotton candy is also popular. These two complement each other beautifully. I can still smell a little bit of the scents in here. This one was great. I loved this. I would buy this one. It's good enough. I think I'd want a baby loaf, like the bitty loaves, just because sometimes if I'm not absolutely in love of a scent, I won't buy a large loaf, but a mini loaf is perfect for me. Um, day eight. This one is the packaging is, uh, this is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer because it's the snowman who narrates it, you know, that doesn't have any legs. It's the elf. I can't, Davy, I think that's his name. Uh, Rudolph, of course. And then the, uh, is, that, is that the abdominal, uh, 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 abominable snowman? I don't know. I haven't watched Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer in years. So the, <laughs> the name is uh, escaping me. But anyways, this scent is wild currant, sandalwood, and vanilla beans whole vanilla beans. I love current scents, current, current, the current, current scent. And it's not used a, enough in my opinion. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but this is current, but that vanilla bean tones it down a little bit. This one was a nice refreshing scent. And I liked this one. Um, like I said, current doesn't have a big following that I'm aware of. So I like that, but I like that Jen did a little bit of everything in this, in this for everybody. There's bakery, there's fresh, there's pine, there's masculine, there's earthy, there's pumpkin, there, there's a lot. So day nine, where are you day nine? I thought I had most of you in order here. One moment guys, it's here. I know it is. If not, I'm going to scream. Day nine, there's day 10, day nine. Well, day nine is still in the bag. That's why I couldn't find it. Oh boy. Okay, day nine, the package here is may your Christmas be filled with laughter and joy. And it has a couple of the Eskimos on there, I believe. This scent was the burrow, sugar cookie, and sugar cookie royale and zucchini bread. 
this was wonderful. The burrow is a cinnamon roll with a couple of other things in it. Very warming, very warming, um, uh, comforting, cozy scent in my opinion. This, this was a beautiful balance. The zucchini bread was not spicy. It had enough of the burrow and the cookie in it to cream it down. And this was a great scent. Um, this would, I, I would buy this again. Absolutely. That was a great one. Day 10 is Just Believe with the top hat, which might be Frosties. Who knows? This scent, and actually, you know, uh, that's cute, Jen, because this one is Frosties Blizzard Breezes. Now, this one, I looked up the notes to this, and of course, it's peppermint based, but there's a couple of other things, and I think creme de menthe, maybe. This was gorgeous. I love this. And I don't know if it's offered in the pre-order that's happening right now or if this was requested in the Lofapalooza. I saw this somewhere floating around in one of the one of the um, uh, posts or something I saw on L3's group. But this was absolutely wonderful. I loved this. I would buy more of this. Yes, please. Day 11. This one is just some stockings here. This scent is orange chiffon, cinnamon rolls, buttercream frosting, and brown sugar. This was delicious. I wanted to eat it. It was, it was so perfect. This one, I can still smell the cinnamon rolls with extra brown sugar icing. Um, not cream cheese, the, just the regular glaze that's on top. It's buttercream mixed with brown sugar, I think. And the orange chiffon, if you've ever had a cinnamon roll, there's also orange rolls. I prefer orange rolls because cinnamon roll you can get any time. It seems like the orange roll is something that's decadent and special because it's not overly popular or, um, offered all the time like cinnamon rolls are. But this one was great. I hope Jen pours this again. This was a winner. Very good, very cozy, comforting scent. We're on day 12, 12, 12, 12. There you are. This guy, this is a llama. So some of these came on glued, but the llamas, this one is a cute one. This is Don't Cross Streams Rice Crispy Peeps Cake Batter. This one had two shapes in it. I only melted one because this guy was very weak. And of course, I mean, Don't, don't Cross Streams. I love Don't Cross Streams. On its own, it's kind of weak. It, it needs to be mixed with something. And Peeps Cake Batter, I have a hard time smelling. It's very weak to me. And then Rice Krispies, the, the Rice Krispie treats basically smell like marshmallow. But this one is a nice one. I think this blended with another type of bakery scent. I would like this more. But this one wasn't, it wasn't my favorite. But if you're out there and you enjoyed this, I'm glad it's bringing you all the joy in the world because that's why we melt wax. And day 13... I liked this one, Merry Berry Christmas with the bears on here. And I, I love the gingham uh, or the buffalo plow, whatever you want to call it. I love that so much. This was a, this was a, such a fresh one. This is Salty Sea Air Ozone and Fraser Fur. I melted this one in my bathroom. This was great. I love Salty Sea Air. You can't go wrong with it. And the Salty Sea Air is dominant. Absolutely. And I remember the Fraser fur came through on warm when it was just perfect. It wasn't, I would not describe this as a pine scent. Yes, there's pine in it, but I would not describe this as an overly pine scent. This is salty Sierra and ozone with a hint of pine. This is perfect for, it's not masculine like cologne, but it, it does, it does make you think of a, a masculine type of, of a wheelhouse, if you want to call that. Day 14 is here. We have Wishing You All the Wonder and Magic of Christmas with the ornaments here. This one is Cookie Therapy, Brown Sugar, Pound Cake, and Pink Frosted Cake. This one was good. It's got all the classic scents in there. This one, Cookie Therapy is her house blend, of course. 
uh, brown sugar, pound cake, and pink frosted cake. This was this was just a nice bakery scent. There really isn't anything special about this. It's just a great, strong bakery scent. That was a good one. Um, day 15. This one is sending you a flurry of warm Christmas wishes. And there are the snowflakes, the beautiful snowflakes on there. This one... Uh, was not not my favorite one. This was sugared plums, blackberry jam, butter cookies, and blueberry muffins. This one, I felt. I I think this one smelled artificial because sugared sugared plums. It, it, I got artificial scent from this, and I mean yes, I know all it, oils and wax is artificial, but I, I mean it, it just it smells. It's too fake smelling to me. And if you have this scent and you love it, I'm happy for you. This is just my opinion of it. This one isn't for me. So I I don't smell the blueberry muffin. The blackberry jam butter cookies, they're, it's similar to the plum. So my brain couldn't differentiate between the two of those notes. I just smelled artificial bakery, if that makes sense. So that was one that I would not buy and I didn't really enjoy. But um, if you do, I'm happy for you. Uh, day 16 is ornaments again. This one is silver and gold in Christmas vacation. And I looked this up and I can't quite I can't quite tell you what this smells like because I looked up the I looked up these notes the day that I melted it, of course, and I didn't go back and refresh my mind before I filmed this video, so my apologies for that. But it's not bakery; it's 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 nice. It's a nice like oh the air smells nice. It's a it's just a nice air fresh scent, not not fresh as in as an oceanic or fruit. It's just a Fresh meaning different blend, I should say. I need to do a little bit better explanations on some of these more abstract scents. Uh, this one is Peaceful Wishes with the deer in the tree with some pine on the back. This is my all-time favorite scent of this whole entire advent calendar. And I requested this in Palooza, and I hope it's some, some form is poured. Now this scent isn't going to be for everybody because this is the earthy scent. This is pumpkin seeds, oud, O-U-D. I still don't know how to say that word, but I, I need to figure out how. I know it's a type of wood. Amber Noir and Tonka Bean. This I melted in my office, and this lasted all day. I was sad when the scent finally died. This is gorgeous. It's earthy. It almost has patchouli nag champa vibes to it. But there isn't patchouli and nag champa in here, but I think that might be the Amber Noir. And I did ask Jen and her group which which scent of all of these are dom is dominant because I love it. I want more. I would buy this in a big loaf. That's me. And I know some people are scared of earthy scents and that's okay. They're not for everybody. But if you're one of the ones out there that likes these types of scents, this pumpkin seeds I've smelled alone and it's kind of caramel, caramely. And I pick up on that. But the tonka bean and the amber and the wood, it, it balances beautifully and I just I could go on and on about this one I love this I'm going to keep this little bag because the scent was so strong I can still smell it in there so he's not going to go in the garbage <laughs> he's going to go somewhere where I can keep it um day 18 we have this is bells and the back here is season uh this is the season to be jolly this one is red hot cinnamon candies and pumpkin pie crust. Now, believe it or not, this worked. Red hot cinnamon candies is spicy cinnamon. You all know that. But mixed with the pump, excuse me, mixed with the pumpkin pie crust, it worked. It did. Now that the the wax is out of here, I'm getting residual scent of the pumpkin pie crust. And this was a different scent, and I and I haven't seen this offered before, but like I said, Jen has tons of scents. This one, if she took a chance on this blend, it worked. And whoever thought of this, good job. Very creative. And I wouldn't, I would never have thought to put these scents together, but it worked. 
um, day 19. I think this is Precious Moments. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. This is another good one. This is one of, one of my favorites. Pumpkin carvings and Danish butter cookies. This, this was pumpkin carvings. I, she has a blend out there that's pumping, pumpkin carvings, hay, and mac apple, and it's gorgeous. And the pumpkin carvings is like fresh pumpkin to my nose. And Danish butter cookies these were this was a perfect combination to put together because it just it, this is a fabulous blend i wish i could describe it more i should have kept the piece of this because this was one of my favorites but i just i i was so excited i put the whole damn thing in my, in my melter but uh this was wonderful i requested this actually in loaf of palooza too i hope that some somehow some way it gets poured again Day 20. Almost done, guys. Uh, just trees. And this says Silent Night. Now, this scent, I know for a fact, this is in the current pre-order that's going on right now until the 8th. This is in a big loaf. This is black sugar, peppered suede, and mahogany teakwood. This is your masculine scent. This is, it's spicy. It's masculine. It's sexy. It's, it's sultry. Did I say that already? I, <laughs> I just, uh. I get so excited talking about these scents to you guys and I just get, I get ahead of myself sometimes. So I'm sorry. Uh, this, I love this. And there are a couple of other loaves that I want a little bit more than this, but if Jen would pour these in smaller loaves, I would definitely buy this. In fact, I think I'm going to keep this one to the side because I don't want to forget this blend. It was a good one. Okay, we're in the last few days here. This is day 21, Season of Light, Hope, Peace, and Love. This is the package here. This is Spearmint, Cotton Candy, Frosting, Sugar Cookies. This one was okay. Spearmint, I'm finding, is not my favorite mint in wax. But that said, the, the, the Spearmint is the most dominant in here. And then the Cotton Candy and the Cookies are in the background. This one was okay, but... I like peppermint better. I like buttermint better than spearmint. That's my opinion on that one. Day 22. This is a cute one. I love snowmen. And these are all, these are all snowmen on here. Aren't they cute? <laughs> um, this one is Let Them Eat Cake, Amber and Oud. Oud. I still don't know how to say it. <laughs> um, this one I melted this one in my master bathroom and it, it was it was amber with a little bit of wood and a touch of sweetness, which is the let them eat cake. This was okay. It wasn't my favorite, but it served its purpose for the time that it was it was live in my bathroom. Um, day 23. Oh, this is a this is a great one. White woods, twisted peppermint, and boardwalk marshmallow clouds. This was a great combination. I love Twisted Peppermint. It has, Twisted Peppermint is peppermint, balsam, and I think vanilla. I think it's a Bath and Body Works uh, uh, scent. This, I have White Woods on, I have White Woods by itself in a baby loaf. And it's a clean, crisp scent. Not a pine scent, but it's a clean scent. This was a beautiful combination. It was perfect. I really liked this. This was, this is a good combination. Whoever thought of this blend, good job on that one. Christmas Eve is the tree. And then on the back, it's may you enjoy the beauty, warmth, and memories of this special season. This one is pistachio cookies, salted caramel, and boom boom cream or bum bum cream. Uh, the salted caramel was dominant in this. Pistachio was second, and the boom boom rounded everything out. Um, I love pistachio, and this one absolutely the salted caramel was the was the dominant in your face note. This was a nice one though. And finally, Christmas Day, great blend, and we have Mr. Santa, the big guy on there. This one is pumpkin firewood, pumpkin pecan brittle, pumpkin pecan waffles, and toffee. And I actually melted this on the 23rd because I was busy on the 24th and 25th. And I 
knew I wouldn't be up here upstairs melting in these three warmers. So I made it a point to melt a few of these ahead of time. This one. This one is pumpkin pecan waffles, but pumpkin pecan brittle about equal. I love that because sometimes pumpkin pecan waffles is such a strong scent. It can overpower the blend in my opinion. This was beautifully done. A little bit of the PPW, a little bit of the pecan brittle, a little bit of the firewood and the toffee to round it out. This this was, nonetheless, it's a pumpkin pecan waffle blend, but it had a lot of other fun notes in there, and this one was a great one. So maybe in the fall time, Jen will pour this one again. But that's it. That's all 25 days of the L3 Advent Christmas calendar, and I hope that you... Um, you got a little bit of new scents out of this group and there were a lot of creative good ones. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.